Hey guys, welcome to Hair History of the Ancient Greeks. The Ancient Greeks had a remarkable contrast to the other ancient civilizations in regards to their hairstyle since they adhered to very natural looks for their hair. All the other ancient civilizations, as you could see in my Egyptian video, were all about wearing wigs, waxed hair, everything used to be stiff and set and not to move, tight ringlets, lots of braids, and the ancient Greeks just preferred a way more natural look altogether. Hair had a large symbolic value for the ancient Greeks. They used it in all kinds of rituals, therefore it was important for hair to be as natural as possible. For example, sometimes they would hang the hair of a deceased person on their door to kind of commemorate them, and sometimes people would act even cut off their own hair and throw it into the dead person's grave in a kind of mourning ritual. And also young men would actually let their hair grow until they started to grow a beard, at which point they would cut their hair off for the first time and offer it to Apollo. Speaking of beards, the Greeks would let their beards grow until about the 4th century, where the Emperor Alexander ordered the men to shave their beards so that they wouldn't be grabbed and used as handles during the war. It is said that from that period onwards, men would shave their beards and sometimes there was a fashion of, you know, wearing a moustache, just like we have today, but generally men were shaven. So both Greek men and women would curl their hair, but in a much more natural way, so in kind of loose waves rather than the very tight waxy ringlets of uh, centuries before and that the Egyptians used to wear. So more similar to what I'm wearing now. Greek women, and especially early Greek women, would often wear their hair in just loose, long waves. And later on there came all kinds of fashions with putting the hair half up or uh, completely up and using different kinds of ribbons and headbands, fabrics in the hair to put it up with. A very popular style throughout many centuries was to wear a ribbon or uh, a headband on the head and wrap the hair around it, kind of like I'm doing now. And this is found in several different forms, um, shapes and sizes, various portions of the hair pulled up. But this kind of half up, half down style was definitely the most popular. Women would also pull their hair back into buns and chignons, also often accompanied by pins and kind of hair ornaments and accessories and ribbons and stuff like that into more elaborate styles, although young women would usually just wear their hair curled and down. Now, to set the curls they would use different muds and pomades, also waxes, to just set these curls so that they would last longer and they also used perfume in their hair to make it smell nice. The ancient Greeks, like the ancient Egyptians, used extensions, um, hair pieces, other people's hair inside their hair and also used to dye their hair. Although some people objected to that since it went against the grain of the whole kind of hair is sacred and used in rituals thing, but it was definitely done. So the hairstyle that I'm wearing today is inspired by a uh, approximately 5th century BC hairstyle and I am just wearing a long ribbon in my hair that is um, wrapped twice, loose, loose curls on the bottom, and then I wrapped my hair around with ribbons. So let's just jump right into the hairstyle. So to begin, I'm going to comb my hair around my head, going from my crown. So I'm not going to have a parting anywhere. And this may seem a bit strange, but this was actually very fashionable back in ancient Greece. So I'm going to take my white ribbon, I'm going to take a pretty long white ribbon, and I'm going to start wrapping this around my head. And I'm going to wrap it once around my hairline, and then one more time, a little bit further on the back of my head. And when I've wrapped twice, I'm going to kind of twist the ribbons around each other in the back and then tie it off with a bow. And now it's time to reveal our eyes again. <laughs> I'm going to split the hair down the middle, being careful to not really make a parting. We want to keep that kind of forward brushed hair. But I am going to start wrapping my hair around the front ribbon trying to keep it as close to the hairline as possible. The Greeks would often comb their hair over their forehead to make their foreheads look smaller, because that was in fashion. So I'm going to keep adding little pieces of hair to my kind of wrapping piece, and just wrapping it around until I reach about my ears, and then I'm just going to stop and let my hair fall down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And when I wrap the last time, I like to take both ribbons in the um, kind of twist so that the back ribbon doesn't slide away. This helps, but if you if you still feel like it's going to slide, you can always just pop in a bobby pin. We have those nowadays. <laughs> so then all there's left to do is curl your hair with a kind of medium-sized curling iron. I'm going to use my 19 millimeter one and just going to curl all of my hair. When my curls are done, I'm not going to comb them out, I'm just going to leave them as they are, nice and PC and defined. 
And there is your ancient Greek hairstyle done! And that also concludes my video about hair history of ancient Greece. So I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week in the next episode of Hair History.